you might have this thing outside. What are you doing? Too many nets, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So good to have you this morning. We love you. We're glad you're supporting our Sunday school. And we're so thankful for that. Thank you so much. Little thought. We want to thank you for the beautiful day, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to come here and have some worship and worship together. Lord, we just thank you for the many blessings that we had this week, Lord, the ones that we see and the ones we don't even know about, Lord. We know you, you bless us and we don't even know it. Lord, thank you for our church, our church members, Lord, thank you for the community. Lord, most of all, we just want to thank you for your son who suffered and bled and died on the cross for a sinner like me. All these things I ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Birthdays and anniversaries this past week, we just have a few on the calendar. We have Scott Holbert and Jamie Ziegler. And any others? I heard a surprise. And sometimes we get surprised. Yeah. Uh oh, we did get a surprise. <laughs> Crazy, you had a birthday? Oh, my word. Oh. Come on, my friend. We got a serenade to you. She don't know the grill.
But we have to be careful. And I know, I know, we talk about it all the time. You go to talk to somebody, and the first thing they say, well, our church is full of a bunch of hypocrites. And we all know, yep, to a certain extent, you're right. You're exactly right. <clears throat> but don't let people, don't let that discourage you. Still pray for them. Continue to pray for them. And what I've found out is, when you get to that point where you feel like you're judging somebody else, <clears throat> take these verses to heart. Because I think you find out if you start praying earnestly for people in their hearts and their relationships, then you'll start, God will start using you in the correct way. You won't be a judge. You'll be praying for people out of love. If you're still loving, God still loves them. So that definitely we should love them. And continue to, to minister to them and help them. And don't be so judgmental. And I think as we find out and we start doing that, first of all, we take an excuse away from the ones we're witnessing to. If we're out there showing them that we really love them, really care and we're not being a judge and jury against them, there's a good chance they'll come here and they'll get to hear more, and get to strengthen their foundation, their base. Second, I think if we do that, I think we'll start searching our own hearts <clears throat> a little closer as well. God, you know, how can I be judging people? How can I be telling people things to do? But I'm doing this. It might be different than the sin they're dealing with, but you're still dealing with the sin, I can guarantee it. So keep Praying for yourself so that you don't become a judge. You don't run people away because you're so judgmental and you come across it. Come on, this is the only place you're going to learn this. This is what you can do. No, don't do that. But you must be careful because you don't want to lower yourself like in that last verse where you end up getting caught up by people and they done turned you around and all of a sudden you're not coming to church anymore because <clears throat> you've gotten out of balance. You've lost your sense of direction. So be careful. Please don't, you know, try not to be judgmental. I know it's human nature. Good grief. <laughs> Ever since we were children, we could think for ourselves and do things. We'd always judge. Be careful with it. And like I said, I think that if we're really doing that out of love and following God's example, and Jesus' example, when He was here on earth showing us how, I think it becomes clear to us how we should handle other people too and not be so judgmental because we have weaknesses too. I don't do. I was standing in front of Judge and Jerry right now. I got some things to answer for. So how can I be so much better than anybody else that I would like to come and try to allow them to experience what God has for them in their life? Let us pray. Man, before you dismiss, I need to see the deacons in my study for about two minutes. Two minute deacon two meeting. Two minute deacon meeting. Preach the study. Father God, we thank you. We love you. And Lord, we know the ultimate judge is now you. Lord, for those that like to use excuses of people in the church are hypocrites and they're no better than me, they're right. They're right. Father God, may they also realize that your word says every knee shall bow, not as a group, but as an individual. And Lord, they have to answer for those things. Lord, I just pray that you prepare their hearts. Lord, I just prepare, pray that you prepare us, Lord, to be your tools to go out and witness. And Lord, may we do it in a non-judgmental fashion. May we do it truly because we love them and we care about them, Father God. And we want to allow them to experience what we have, Lord, by becoming a child of yours. We thank you for that. Lord, we just ask you to be with the sick, those that are hurting. We just ask you to give them strength, Father God, to be with the doctors and nurses that are, are dealing with them, Father, to get them back on their feet, dear God, and get them back to our house. We thank you, Lord. We love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Dismiss. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.